Uh, within the past hour, Ryan King was taken from the hospital and brought downtown for booking. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon was there when he was brought in. And Emily, do we know if he's appeared before a judge yet? He did just moments ago. He arrived here just after 530 and this entire process went very quickly. We do have some video where we can show you appear, him appearing in night court via teleconference. Uh, the entire process was very quick. He is now charged with four counts of criminal homicide. His bond is set at $2 million and he is scheduled to appear in court on Wednesday morning. When asked if he had any questions, he simply said no and appeared expressionless throughout most of this process. Now again, when he first arrived here, this was right after he had been at the hospital for several hours getting checked out. That whole process took about three hours. When he arrived here at booking, he was fingerprinted, had his mugshot taken, and we were there as he was walking into the facility. He was wearing blue scrubs at the time and appeared to be slightly limping. As we called out to him and tried to ask him questions, he did not respond and again appeared expressionless throughout the entire process. Now next, the Davidson County Sheriff says he will be taken to a maximum correctional center on Harding Place. That will be the next step of his process where he will be staying. Of course, we will continue to follow this throughout the evening. But for now, reporting live in downtown Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. All right, Emily, thanks. Great pictures there. Now, before police booked Ryan King, of course, we told you they took him to the hospital right. where several spectators waited to watch him leave. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres was there as well with an exclusive look. Matthew. Vicky, that's right. Travis Rankin got here just around two o'clock this afternoon and was here for about three and a half hours for a medical evaluation. Now, the entrance that he went through here at the emergency center, it was closely monitored, as you might expect. Now, take a look at your screen. We were the only ones here outside the hospital as the 29 year old suspect was brought in by several officers. You can see both sleeves of his sweater were, turn were torn rather as he appeared to be limping his way inside. An investigator told me the clothes smelled so bad, giving a possible insight on the conditions he put himself through. About a dozen people waited outside hoping to see him leave, but the rain forced many to move on. He walked out wearing blue scrubs and was eventually escorted to the bond office as Emily just previously reported. That's the latest outside Metro General. I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.